Welcome to a new quick hitter from Full Court Press with Fanton Adams. Our guest this week is the Athletics NBA draft expert and insider, Sam Vecini. We talked about Luka Doncic and the show that he's been putting on in the NBA playoffs. Could there be a comparable player to Luka in this 2020 draft class? Well, in terms of international prospects, there's nobody getting talked about more than Denny Abdija, an interesting, versatile player at six foot nine, does play that point forward type of role. How does he compare to Luka? And we asked Sam what he remembers hearing about Luka Doncic back a couple years ago when he was getting drafted. And what sticks out to him now when he thinks about those critiques from NBA executives and even scouts? One critique in particular might be sending you to the McDonald's drive through Play of Luka Doncic, Sam, has everybody wondering where the next Euro star is going to come from. And the hot fed name is Denny Avdija. And the Cavaliers at five, that's who you have right now, uh, where he goes at, at five to Cleveland. What do you think he brings to the table? Yeah, I will say I don't think Denny's Luka. I think he's a good player. Uh, I've had like a couple people from, you know, Israel that have covered him overseas who think he's that level and have told me that like they think he is, uh, you know, a potential long-term all-star. I don't really see that in his case because I don't really see him as that level of shooter. Luca's body mechanics and his ability uh, to accept contact. He was the best finisher among any wing in the NBA this season or any guard in the NBA this season. Anyone who is not a center that's just finishing way above the rim, right? Uh, his ability to accept contact and play through it and finish through it is exceptional. His ability and body mechanics to uh, get to that step back pull up is absolutely exceptional. He is someone that is very... Uh, a very special case. In Denny's case, he's a bit more of like a point forward type, whereas Luca is more of a point guard, right? His ball handling isn't quite as good, but he can run some pick and rolls like we used to see, you know, like a Lamar Odom run, right? Like Lamar could accept pick and rolls. He could be the screener or he could be the ball handler in ball screen settings, right? I think that's more what you're talking about with Denny. He's a really good passer. He sees things happen. He reads the second level really well. Um, and he's, a little, he's more athletic than what I think he gets credit for. Like, people think of these European guys, they're coming over with, like, an athletic deficit in some regard. Uh, we're used to, you know, Luka Doncic and Nikola Jokic now. Denny's not really that. Like, Denny has some actual athleticism that he plays with and plays with real speed and tempo. So I think he's just kind of a different guy, and I think he's going to be an interesting point forward type uh, for a team to look at. And he'll go somewhere in the top. Uh, six, I would venture. To follow up on Luca, Sam, <laughs> what do you remember hearing about him when sure. you were going through your mocks that now sticks out to you when you're watching him do what he's doing? Yeah. A lot of NBA executives overthought it a little bit, I think. And look, like, I'm not infallible in this. Like, I had him and DeAndre Ayton in the same tier. Like, I thought they were both future all stars. Like, I'm. I had DeAndre Ayton at number one, though. Like, I'm not sitting here saying that, like, I was – I don't even think, like, I'm wrong, clearly. DeAndre looks good for Phoenix. He averaged 19 and 12 and two this year, two blocks a game. Like, he's really good, but he's not Luka. Luka looks like, you know, the next coming of uh, a top 10 player in basketball history. So, what I remember is teams questioning the upside a little bit too much, I thought. Uh, they thought that, like – oh, he's not athletic enough, enough to get separation. I didn't really see that as an issue. There were also some worries about his habits. Um, he was a guy that ate, like, a lot of fast food off the court and, like, didn't, like, take the utmost care of his body while dominating for Real, right? And I think that teams overthought that a little bit. Like, imagine you get that guy to P3 out in Santa Barbara, right? He's going to get better athletically. You get him on an NBA strength and conditioning program, he's going to get better in terms of his body. So, yeah, I think that executives generally overthought Luca. Some didn't. Like, I talked to some that were just like, this guy's the number one overall pick. But there were more people across the NBA than you would think that had some very real questions about Luka Doncic, which is 
uh, funny looking back and is strange looking back, given the fact that he was a teenager that won the freaking MVP of Euro league, which is the second best league in the world. But you know, it, that's the way it was back then. The fact that he had such a liking for fast food just increases his likability <laughs> factor. <laughs> He's Correct. He, he's, he's a terrific human. Like Luka Doncic uh, brings so much fun to basketball. I'm so glad that someone that is like 6'8", 225, 230 pounds. I mean, he's in good shape now. He's in much better shape than he was when he played for Real. But like, he's not the most wildly explosive player. He just plays at his tempo. He knows how to get to his spots. And um, his best skill is the ability to like decelerate and then reaccelerate and change tempos in such an unbelievable way. Uh, no one else really other than maybe James Harden can do it that way. And, and he is uh, – James Harden might be the best scorer, like, in NBA history. So, like, putting Luka in that conversation is uh, is pretty special. And then you throw in the fact that he's probably one of the two best passers in the NBA along with LeBron James. And it's a, it's a special group of skills. We hope you listen to the full conversation with Sam Vicini, as well as my thoughts on the possibility of Jay Wright, Villanova head coach, to Philadelphia 76ers. Check out Full Court Press with Fanta and Adams every Tuesday from Pure Hoops Media. Full Court Press with Fanta and Adams is a presentation of Pure Hoops Media.